in this video we will be discussing lidar mapping and how it differ from photogrammetry first let's understand what lidar is the full form of lidar is light detection and ranging don't worry by the end of this video you will easily grasp what this concept is how it works and how it uses for mapping in simple term lidar is a method that uses laser light to determine range of object now let's dive into the details the key difference between lidar drone and normal drone lies in the payload normal drones uses camera whereas lidar drones uses lidar sensor lidar sensors emits multiple laser light which reflects off surface and return to the sensor by measuring the time difference the distance to the object is calculated now let's understand photogrammetry in the photogrammetry process a drone capture numerous images using an rgb sensor or a camera these images are then stitched together to create a map if you want to learn more about photogrammetry check out our complete video on it the link in the description both lidar and photogrammetry have their own advantages and disadvantages which we will explore in the upcoming video you might be wondering lidar works like radar but there is a key difference while radar radio detection and ranging uses radio waves lidar uses laser light to find the distance to an object one major advantage of using lidar in mapping is its ability to identify small objects like power lines which is not possible with radar now let's look at the type of lidar generally lidar can be divided into two types based on usability airborne lidar and terrestrial lidar airborne lidar is used in aircraft or drones while terrestrial lidar is operated from the ground based on application airborne lidar is further divided into bathymetric and topological bathymetric lidar is used for underwater survey such as mapping the sea floor topographic lidar on the other hand is used to extract the topography of the earth surface terrestrial lidar is divided into mobile and static mobile lidar is mounted on moving vehicle while static lidar is placed on the ground for observation our focus today is on airborne lidar especially on topographic surveys using unmanned aircraft or drones if you found this video informative please like subscribe to our channel and visit our website drone schools totem thank you for watching and see you in drone lidar series video 2